If you ever saw me having sex, the chances are you're going to think that maybe I look a little bit weird. Depending on what is happening for me in that particular moment, you're probably going to witness me making all kinds of noises, maybe crying, definitely breathing really loudly, maybe laughing, or perhaps doing nothing at all and being super still and internal, or doing something, I don't know, like this. Oh! But whatever it is, I guarantee it'll be a variation on one or all of those things. But because most of us have been force fed this idea that sex is supposed to look like a perfect performance where she looks super sexy and he laughs for ages and she makes sounds like, oh, oh yes baby, and he changes positions every 30 seconds before they both explode in orgasmic unison, of course you're going to think that I look a little bit bonkers or crazy. But here's what I think is crazy. Our ridiculous culture that is obsessed with stuff looking perfect, especially when it comes to sex. And even if it means sacrificing our pleasure, disempowering ourselves or having dull and boring sex in the process. Now that to me is craziness because here's the thing about sex. Sex is primal, it's raw, the sheer power of it, if you let it, has the ability to take you to places that you never thought was possible. Sex can open you up in the most powerful ways imaginable and is the pathway to intimate connection, incredible pleasure, and has the capacity to expand your heart in the most unbelievable states of pure love and oneness. But to access this full potential of our sexual experience, it requires absolute surrender to radical authenticity, to the truth of what's happening in our bodies and to the full expression of what is showing up for us in that moment. That means no faking it, no holding back tears or emotions, and no controlling what comes out of your mouth. It also requires zero judgment when it comes to breathing, sounding, and expressing fully, which by the way, are your body-based tools to reach ecstasy. Now, if this is all sounding a little bit too much, I get it. For many of us, letting go of control and stepping outside of what we perceive is the correct way to have sex is scary. And so we contain ourselves, we suppress it, we shut it down, and we keep our sexual expression limited to what we think is acceptable, what is safe, or what we believe will be pleasing and attractive to our partner. We stay stuck in our heads whenever our body hits the bed. In this video, I want to encourage you to let go of the show. I want it to serve as a call to action so that you can gently move away from the idea of performance-based sex, that routine of what you think looks good or what sounds sexy, and instead practice radical authenticity in the bedroom, bringing all of you, including your insecurities, your vulnerabilities, your desires and emotions, and letting them all just be there with you. And from that place, connecting and loving and opening up to your lover so that true intimacy can thrive. And yes, there will be times when you cry or get angry and feel grief or pain because sex is life. Life and sex is the same thing. And when our body has sadness inside of it, it needs to be released. When our body feels anger or pissed off for whatever reason, when we allow ourselves to fully feel it, we can release it, especially during sex. Sex like this becomes medicine for deep healing and transformation. It becomes less about the goal for pleasure and more about an expression of the deepest parts within you. But for that to happen, you need to keep showing up fully, allowing yourself to express everything that's going on for you. So let yourself experience it. Because I see women every day who are not experiencing their full sexual potential, who are just like, meh, sex, yeah. And I truly, truly believe that if you give yourself the permission to have sex in a deeply authentic way, it will revolutionize your sex life. It'll change the way that you think, the way that you feel about your sexuality. And that will take sex from meh to amazing, I promise you. Now, if you're worried that your partner might not enjoy that real, raw, truthful, central you, ask yourself this. Do you want to be with a person who has to have you behave in a certain way in the bedroom? Who doesn't encourage you to reach your sexual potential or allow you to have truly transformational experiences? Hell no, of course not. And here's another thing. Often as ladies, we sell our partners short. It is us that worry too much that we're too emotional or we're too expressive, when in fact they freaking love it. A woman in her full joy, in her pleasure, who's having a kick-ass time, that is the woman most men want to go to bed with. So let's dive into a few tips to help you stay real in the bedroom. Number one, get real alone first. 
During self-pleasure, make a commitment to fully show up for what you're feeling and express it completely. Make sounds, release your emotions, move your body. Just express, express, express. If you feel shy, that's okay. Tell yourself it's okay to be real. Tell yourself you're safe, that no one is judging you. Listen to your body and what she needs. She may want to be very still. She may want to punch a pillow or bite down on the bed covers. Let her do whatever she feels like, no matter what it looks like. It will help to build trust and deepen the connection to your body and it'll open you up to greater levels of pleasure. Number two, communicate to your lover. Let your lover come along for the ride and communicate beforehand that you're going to be trying out something a little new so they're not taken by surprise. You may like to start off slowly, maybe just breathing a little bit more fully or with a sound on the exhale. You may like to voice your pleasure when things are feeling good or ask to change it up when it isn't. As you begin to feel more safe with your partner, explore sounding even more. Again, communicate beforehand about how you're feeling and how this is going to allow you to unleash yourself completely. How sounding helps you to move pleasure through your body or transform blockages. Also let them know that it's okay if sadness and grief comes up for you during playtime and that it's actually a really, really normal thing to experience. Tell them how best that they can support you when emotions like these arise. It may be giving you space or just holding you close or stopping what they're doing. Whatever it is that you need, reassure them that they're not doing anything wrong and that it's actually very right. And it's helping you to tap into deeper parts within yourself and have truly transformational sex. Always, always thank them for supporting you. Number three, let go of judgment. Now this is super, super important. Don't judge what shows up for you. Hold yourself with deep compassion and self-acceptance. Let yourself know that every single part of you is welcome and worthy. Allow yourself to feel the emotion without creating a huge story around it. Feel it and then let yourself release it. That goes for movement as well. If you're craving your, to unleash your wild inner vixen, do it. If you want softness and stillness, surrender to that as well. Let go of the need for sex to look a certain way and really feel into what you desire. It will set you free, I promise you. For more content like this and practices that will supercharge your sexual wellness, head over to my website www.taraocomau and you can find out tons of information over there. Looking forward to seeing you soon. Bye.